Hello everyone, my name is Hiram Besaynet and I'm an application engineer for Micrographics. Today we're going to have a look at one of the tools within Autodesk Inventor that does not get utilized a lot and not a lot of people are aware of it and that is the Design Assistant. Now the Design Assistant is a fantastic tool for file management. The design assistant also allows you to locate, organize, and even update any files that's associated within your design project. It is also very uh, useful for handling like complex assemblies, large design projects, um, that involves quite a lot of multiple linked parts, drawings, and references. Design Assistant can also assist you in renaming, copying or even replacing files while maintaining the reference integrity. That is that what makes it such a good tool to use. We all know how important um, Inventor works with file paths and the links of parts. Now for instance, if you have an assembly and you created a part you rename that part, you open up the assembly, the link is broken because it doesn't recognize the part. Then you will have to go and find the part and replace that component and do the updates for your assembly. Design Assistant can actually assist in making that a lot smoother, especially when it comes to the link process. Now I'm going to open up just a normal small assembly. Now there's two ways we can open the design assistant. The first way is we can open up our assembly, go to file and go to manage and open up design assistant. Now when design assistant is open You'll notice that we've got two main tabs on the left, Properties and Preview. If I click on Properties and I click on my assembly, it just shows me all the parts. Now if I click on a part, you'll notice at the left you'll see a small preview. Or we can go to Preview, select our assembly, just open up that a bit, and when I click on a part, it would open a nice view in the graphics window for us to see a representation. Now, the design assistant is quite nice because we also do have quite a lot of functionality here. We can open up an assembly or parts as needed or required. We can right click on a part, if I click open, this will open that specific part within Inventor. I can print it, I can go to copy design properties. Now when I talk about copy design properties, it is in fact copying the properties of this model or this project depending on your parts and assemblies that has been created in a project can move specific properties to a related project by simply going down and selecting what properties you would like to copy over and it's copying it from a specific location and where you would like to copy it to and here you can choose all your uh, selected files as needed or required so here you can also see that I can also copy on copy IPTs and choose where I want to copy it to. We can also go and see the summary of properties and the status of properties. Just closing that, you'll also be able to. One of the very important things is we can actually simply go into the I properties within Design Assistant and see exactly all the different i properties so this is the exact same i properties table that opens within inventor it's quite useful to know and utilize you can also refresh when we look at the files you can go and open and see all your recent files 
you can also go to tools and see the hierarchy of an assembly as an example and be able to print a hierarchy text report uh, that you'll be able to go and save as a text file and open like in a text software or like notepad as an instance you'll also be able to go to copy design properties from here and it would open up the same table you can also go and see the help so a little bit about Autodesk Inventor Professional and its contents. I'm just going to close the designer system within Inventor. Now the other way where you can open design assistant is simply go to your start bar in Windows. Depending on your version of Windows, this might say all programs or all apps for applications. Now if I click on the apps, I can scroll down to the Autodesk Inventor version that I'm utilizing and open up the Design Assistant. Now there's one change between that opening it through the Windows Start Bar is we've got what we call a Manage tab. So I'm just going to go and click on Open, go to that exact same assembly Now we do have all the same functionality from here. We can go and right click and you'll see that you also do have a pack and go and where you can purge items as well. But what I want to show you guys is the manage uh, functionality. Within manage we do actually have a lot of functionality. You can also refresh your parts, save it when modifications has taken place. Now one of the important things is if I click on the action uh, tab, you'll be able to see there's a rename option. So if I want to rename, it tells me it requires edit and I can simply right click and choose edit and rename the parts as needed and press save or I can clear my option. We can also go and copy that part and copy that to a specific environment. We can also go and replace mm. that component. Just going to say no. I just want to go and say clear all. Go and replace mm. option. Yes, I want to replace, for instance, one of the parts you can do it within designer system so you don't even have to open up your assembly and it's quite simple it tells you that the action is you're going to replace this part you can simply go to the name tab right click and change name and you'll be able to go and open a specific part and that will replace it as the replace function within the assembly when you make any modifications, it's quite important to remember to press save that it actually keeps all the original links together. Just going to say clear. Another handy feature within the design assistant is we can go to tools and go and find Autodesk Inventor files that will open up the uh, find tab where we can go and look for specific parts drawings or your different types of file structures within inventor also on the tools tab you can also go and find and look where certain parts or drawings were used Thank you guys for watching, please like and subscribe and follow for more content.